Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my top five tips for thrift shopping with you all. This video was highly requested after I filmed my summer thrifted clothing haul. So if you haven't seen that video yet, check it out right here and you can see some of the cool articles that I found at a thrift store for a really good price for my summer wardrobe. So like I mentioned in that video, I've actually been thrift shopping for a very large portion of my life. My mom always took me to thrift stores when I was a kid and I sort of carried it through my teenage years and now in my adulthood, I definitely check out thrift stores first when I need new clothing items or even furniture or other household appliances or hardware things. So through my numerous thrift shops, shopping years, I sort of developed a system that I think works really well and helps you maximize your thrift store's potential. So without further ado, let's get into it. My first tip is to do your research. So this may sound strange, but I have this theory when it comes to thrift stores and it hasn't proven me wrong yet, so I think it's probably true. So when you think about it, people always donate their extra clothing to thrift stores. They never really donate items that they really love or that they recently purchased. However, I think that wealthy people are more likely to donate nicer clothes than people who are less well off. So my theory is that if you go to thrift stores in richer neighborhoods or richer towns, they're more likely to have better items. And this has definitely been proven true, at least in my experience, whenever I'm in a nicer part of town or if I go to a city that does have a wealthier population, I always notice that thrift stores tend to have more name brand and higher quality items. Whereas if you go to a thrift store that's in a less wealthy neighborhood, the people who are donating clothes to that thrift store probably are less likely to own nicer clothes as well. So you probably can figure out your town and decide which areas are more wealthy and less wealthy and look at thrift stores from there. But it also just helps to do a quick internet search to see the thrift stores that are in your area to see if there's any Goodwill, Salvation Armies, or even if there are smaller consignment shops. And then another thing that comes along with doing your research is to checking to see if your thrift stores have any sales. Some stores will put on seasonal sales while they'll have last season's clothing items for really discounted prices. Or I know my Goodwill has a certain day of the week where students get an additional 15% off. So it's always worth it to check it out online first. My next tip is to dress in neutral. So I think this tip could apply to clothing shopping of all sorts. Whenever I'm about to go out and look for clothes, I always make sure that I'm wearing a neutral t-shirt, pair of shorts, and pair of shoes as well. And neutral not in the sense that it has to be black or white, but that you want it to be a very basic clothing item. Because when you think about it, when you go shopping for clothes, you don't go shopping for whole entire outfits. And you may want to try one shirt on, or try a pair of shorts on, or try a pair of shoes on and see how they'll look with certain clothing items. But you may not always have those clothing items with you. And I find it a lot easier to visualize how I would wear an item if it's sort of against a blank slate. So if for example I wore a pattern shirt and a really colorful and bright pair of shorts to go clothing shopping, if I'm looking at a bright t-shirt it's not really going to look very good with that pair of shorts but it may look good if I just worn it with a pair of jean shorts because that's the way I would normally wear it as well. My third tip is to know your style. Now this is really important with thrift stores especially because the clothes that people donate often encompass a wide variety of styles, colors, patterns, and textures as well. And when you go clothing shopping at the mall, usually the department stores will have a specific style that they cater to. But at thrift stores, it's all mixed together. So it can be pretty overwhelming if you don't have an idea of what you're looking for when you go into the thrift store. For example, I have a more minimalistic, solid color, kind of boho chic sort of style, if that's even a style. But so for me, I'm not going to go straight to the neon section and look at all those colors because I don't tend to wear them very much. And one of the things of having a developed and set style is that you're able to sort of mix and match your whole closet so you have a lot more outfit possibilities versus if you only have a few things in this style and a few things in this style, your wardrobe is pretty limited and it can be harder to mix and match items. My fourth tip is to look at everything. Now, I actually got a lot of comments on the last video saying people get so overwhelmed and it's kind of exhausting going to thrift stores because you don't even know where to start. But the thing is, you kind of do have to look through everything if you want to find all of the good stuff. I mean, you may look out initially and get a few t-shirts that you like, but oftentimes the items that I tend to love the most when I find them are more hidden. And it's just really important to go through all of the hangers on the clothing racks especially in the juniors and women's department. You don't have to look through the boys' t-shirts or like the men's basketball shorts. But in order to fully get an idea of everything that the thrift store has, it really is important to look through everything. 
Now that being said, I do have a time saving tip. For example, I tend to only wear a black, white, gray, like maroon and green sometimes. So if I am feeling more exhausted in a store, I'll kind of skim like the racks of yellow and orange and red because I wear those colors a lot less. But that being said, you may find a shirt that you totally love and it may surprise you. So sometimes it is just worth it to look through everything, even though it does take a little bit longer. And my final tip is to try it on. And by it, I mean everything that you like. I think a lot of people get really excited at the lower prices of thrift stores, and I agree, I love spending less money on clothing. However, you're still spending money on clothing, so just because this shirt is from a brand that you like and it's only $4, doesn't mean that you're going to wear it. It's the same when you're shopping in a department store. If a pair of jeans doesn't fit you very well, you're not going to buy it. So just because they're a cheaper price at Goodwill doesn't mean that you should buy them either. So when I go through the racks at secondhand stores, I go through all of the clothing racks that they have, and I pick out all all the items that I think I might like. Then I go to the changing rooms and I try every single item on. And if the item doesn't fit me right or it's kind of weird on a sleeve or the hem is uneven, I don't buy it. Because if I don't like it in the changing room, even if it has a very attractive price, I'm not going to wear it in real life. And I also think it's good to try things on in the changing room because sometimes you notice stains or rips, tears, or other imperfections that you didn't notice when it was on the hanger. That's actually happened to me a lot and then I've just had to put the item back. Okay guys, those are all of my tips on how to maximize your thrift shopping experience. And if you haven't been thrift shopping before, I highly suggest you go and check it out. It can be really rewarding and it's really fun to sort of go through all the effort to find those little treasures. It's really fun to go with your friends and try things on together. And you really can find some unique pieces to your wardrobe as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all later. Bye.